Good morning, everyone. Welcome to week 12 of the Friday Football Frenzy on a Saturday morning. It's the last week of the regular season. I'm Stan Pamphilis, along with Luke Nopstein. And Luke, playoffs are going to start next week, so wow. there was a lot to play for last night. Oh, absolutely. Isn't that hard to believe? I mean, this I season has absolutely flown by. And, of course, one of the best matchups last night featured Asheville on the road at Irwin. The Warriors hoping to go 10-0 and for the first time in school history. Asheville going for its 10th straight conference title last night. It was nice and chilly out there Friday night. First quarter, Tevin Salters to Reggie Battle, who goes up the middle, hurdles a defender at the goal line, and scores the first touchdown of the game to make it 7-0 Cougars. On the next possession for the Warriors, Damian Ferguson throws a nice ball to Chavis Williams, who makes the catch and picks up 20 yards for the home team. Later in the drive, Ferguson looks for the end zone. Good throw, but Asheville's Neil Hutchins oh. beats everyone to the ball to make the pick in the end zone for the touchback. And then the Cougars would just keep it going. Tevin Salters hands off to Jave Jones, and look at the job the offensive line does. Huge hole right up the middle. Jones picks up a big gain. He rushes for 159 yards on the night. However, that drive would stall. Irwin trying to get moving, but backed up into their own end zone. Ferguson is sacked by Asheville's Jose Daniels. And that's a safety to make it 9-0 Asheville. Fast forward to the second half and the Cougars just keep it going. Aquila Smith finds Pater with a nice run. Asheville wins its 10th straight conference title. Cougars beat Irwin 30-14. All right, let's head to the pit in Franklin. Franklin trying to go 11-0, finish the regular season. Their fans are fired up. Dalton Cochran knows what to do. Hand it to Jeremiah Young, skips out of a tackle. Then he's gone. 44 yards, touchdown. Nice. That made it 7-0 Panthers. Next series of the Mountaineers, Young shows that he can play some defense, too. There is the tackle for the <laughs> loss. Now back to pass. It's Cochran to hit Dylan Daves. Touchdown. 14-0 Franklin. This time, Cochran gives it up to Hunter Gibbs. Gets a great hole from his offensive line. Sprints through it. 21 zilch still in the first quarter. Mountaineers try again, but Cameron Whoa. Hart won't have it. He just they stuff him for another loss. Panthers with a ball, Cochran to Trey Mazza. Nice move, 39-yard pass, 28-0 still in the first quarter. It was 49-0 at the half. Franklin dominates. They win 49-7. They finish 11-0 in the regular season. Should get a number one seed when the playoff hearings are announced this afternoon. Also in the WNCAC, West Henderson and East Henderson. Look good early for West. They're moving, but their quarterback, William Crouch, never got control of the ball. Fumble. Patrick McCusick picks it up for the Eagles. First down, they take advantage. Austin Pritchard scans the defense, then takes it right up the middle. 6 nothing. point after, no good. But Crouch would make up for his fumble a lot. Rolling out here, <laughs> he decides to take it down. Why? He moves a lot. I mean, he must go 45 yards to end up with 21 big ones, but they'll take it. Oh, yeah. And then he would take further advantage here. This time, Crouch. Takes a direct snap, goes in untouched, 7-6 at the half. West, they go on to win at 28-12, and they clinch their first winning season in eight years. Congrats to them. Now back to the Mac Reynolds at North Buncombe last night. Rockets looking for their fourth consecutive victory. The Blackhawks hoping to snap a two-game skid. First quarter, the Rockets' Tevin Stafford with a great pass wow. down the middle of the field to Rico Dowdle. Picks up about 20 yards to move the chains. A little bit later in this game, as... Fans are all having a good time as always. Dowdle takes the snap and finds the end zone to make it 7-0 Rockets. Reynolds goes on to roll. They win big last night, 62-28. to Now let's go to Skyland. Robertson hosting Inca last night. Late in second quarter, it's already 28-0 Rams, and they keep piling it on. Quarterback Darian Payne on the keeper goes in easily for the score to make it 35-0. Inca down but not out in the third. Michael Cantrell gets the rock, and man, look at the speed along wow. the far sideline. 81 yards for the touchdown. He really turned on the Jets there, and that gets Inca on the board. Jets would try to keep it closer a little bit later in the ballgame. Check out this throw from Jason Fabio to Austin Marler. Gets the catch and oh, one sweet. foot inbounds. Great grab for 30 yards, but Inca couldn't get any points off of it. Robertson not done. His freshman Barisha Young makes a nice rung. Goes up the middle for the touchdown. Robertson wins 42-6. to We had an historic uh, playoff game in Arden. A battle of rivals, Asheville School at Christ School. First time they played each other under the light. And also the first time they played twice in one season. Wow. Last Saturday, remember Christ School beat them big 47-12. On this game, it's 3 nothing. Greenies. They're on the move again. Landon Archangelo over the middle deep. Jones Barton, what a great grab. And then a nice big run. All in all, 55 yards, and he is pumped up. <laughs> He's going to love this. Sage Holly hit behind the line from the three, but he spins, spins, and scores. 10 nothing. Christ School. 
Now it's Holly again. Check this out. Breaks one, breaks two, breaks three, breaks four, breaks five. <laughs> High tackle, he breaks. Now uses his speed. 54-yard TD run, 17-6 Greenies. He had another 50-yard run on the next possession. It's 31-6 now, and the Blues get a chance to show things off. Turley, James Turley gets a little squib kickoff, and watch the return he makes. Gets a couple of good blocks, but a lot of it's on his own as he cuts outside. Looks like he might break it. What a move there. Finally wow. knocked down at the five-yard line. It looks like the dog almost tackled him. I think the dog was ready to tackle him. <laughs> David Schill will then take advantage of the quarterback keeper. That made it 31-12, but the Greenies win it again over Asheville School, 52-20 to advance. Mountain Heritage hosting Madison last night. Let's pick it up in the third quarter. Patriots' Mason Edwards gets the ball and finds a lane along the far sideline, gets a couple of blocks, and picks up a huge gain to move the chains for the Patriots. Fans having a great time as always last night. Let's pick it up a little bit later in that same drive. Colby Edwards back to pass, looks way downfield for Ryan Harrell, who makes the catch between a couple of defenders, pulled down at the one yard line. But that's a big game for Madison. Later in that same drive, Edwards will find the end zone. However, Mountain Heritage makes a nice comeback, scoring two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Mountain Heritage beats Madison last night 26 to 20. Now to Hendersonville, Polk County visiting the Bearcats. The Polk win wraps up second in the WHC. Hendo can move into a tie. Idle Owen already clinched. Polk down 10-6 in the third, but Jamal Wheeler gives it to Jordan Smith. He dives in, touchdown. Point after no good, 12-10, Wolverines. That's still the score in the fourth when the amazing happens. Watch Jordan Smith again. Takes a shot, and another shot, and another shot, <laughs> oh, and another shot, and he gets into the end zone. The whole team had a chance of him, couldn't bring him down. 20 to 10 poke after getting the two-point conversion. He said he's better than Jagger Garden. I don't know about that, but he looked pretty good. Hendersonville can strike fast, and they do. Mike Schmidt to cold clearing. What a great grab. He was called down at the one-yard line. Next play, Cleary will put it up and in, and it's 20 to 17. Bearcats don't need a turnover with less than three minutes left in the game. And you've got to be kidding me. Mr. Invincible, Jordan Smith, this time he'll get stripped by oh, Blake Lida. So the Bearcats get what they want. They've got the ball. But last chance, fourth down, Schmidt looking for Cleary. Falls oh, short, he can't scoop short. it. Poke holds off the Bearcats 20 to 17. Yeah, great game there. Murphy with a big win over Swain last night. And Pisgah finishes second in the WNCAC with a win at Winless Brevard. North Henderson ends the season with two straight wins. They beat Smoky Mountain. And Mitchell rallies to beat Avery 28 to 24, Mountaineers 7 and 4. And Robbinsville finishes 11 and 0 as they beat Cherokee. Rosman goes on the road and beats Tri City Christian. Andrews makes it two wins in a row in a 3 and 8 season, beating Hayesville. And East Rutherford goes over 500 with a win over Chase in their big rivalry game with Rutherford County. Wow, playoff seeds coming out later today. That's going to be interesting to see who lands where, who gets the big seeds. Right. And, of course, we'll keep you posted with that. Be sure to watch uh, later tonight. All right. You guys have a great weekend. Playoff football next week. <laughs> See ya.